to Power Tips 365 with Shelley Fischel from the IT Training Surgery. Today I'm going to show you how to insert an attachment into an email when you're working online. When that attachment, the document, spreadsheet, PowerPoint, whatever, is stored in your OneDrive online. We'll also see how you can share it with people within your organisation and how you can send it as an attachment. So let's jump right in. So here I am in Lisa's email inbox. We're going to start up a new email just like this. Click new and a new email will show up and address it to Shelley. And it's going to be called China Trip 1. And I'm going to come and attach an email and a, a presentation to it. Now it gives you the choice of choosing in attachments from your OneDrive, from recent folders you may have had uh, recent files or from your general files or from things shared with you. You can choose from group files and there'll be more on groups in other videos later in this series or even from your local computer, whichever computer you happen to be working on. But I'm looking at my files and here they are in my recent files, there's the one I want and if I go into my files I just want to show you that I can find it there as well. So I've ch chosen my presentation about our trip to China, click next and I get the option of sharing it via OneDrive which enables us to collaborate online and also saves emailing that large 6 megabyte file across or I can send it as an attachment. So the first one I'm going to share with OneDrive. You'll see that Lisa gets some options. She can choose what her recipients can do. They can edit it at the moment or she can change those permissions and say they can only view it but we're going to leave it as editing and we can say comments and send that off. Now I'm going to do a second one exactly the same thing I'd send it to Shelley again and it's going to be China trip 2 and attach that same presentation so this time uh, I'm going to pick it up from my files here. This time I'm going to send it as an attach attachment so the recipients get a copy. And there it is, it's been attached. You'll see that it's um, it doesn't um, stop you from sending it and the options here are to view it or download it. So I'm going to send that off. And now I'm going to log out of Lisa's account and log into Shelley's account and show you exactly what that looks like online. So here we are in Shelley's account and here is that first presentation. It's called China Trip 1 and you can tell here that it says shared via OneDrive. So what can Shelley do to see this? Click the drop down and she could choose to view it or open it in a new tab. So first I'll show you what happens when you view it. Remember this is stored on OneDrive and it opens up next to your email so the email or the body of the email will be on the right hand side. All I wrote here was comments but it could have been a whole long instruction and I can actually go through and view that whole presentation with my email so that I can decide if I want to comment on that. And there's other things that I can do like opening it in PowerPoint, playing a slideshow, printing it or sharing it with others and I can also edit and reply from here too. I'm going to close that because I'm not doing any of that right now. I can also choose to open it in a new tab and that just opens it in the full, almost like full screen mode so you have the whole tab there. So I'm going to close that. So going to the second one, remember I sent this one as an actual attachment and there it is, one attachment. My options are slightly different this time. I can view it if I view it, you'll see it's a bit like the way we opened it before. It, it opens up in PowerPoint online and I've got the same options. Remember, I am looking at this online. If I choose to download it, then it will download a copy of this file to my local computer and I can save it wherever I wish. Or I can save it to my own OneDrive at the IT Training Surgery. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see that it pops it in a folder called email attachments and in just a moment I'm going to show you where that is. Here I am in my OneDrive folder, you can see it says OneDrive up at the top and if I scroll down in alphabetical order there is email attachments 
and when I go in there there is our trip to China it's been saved in there a few seconds ago and then I can work with it locally however I want in my email attachments and just to show you because I have my email um, synchronized to my computer I have my OneDrive folder synchronized then when I come into my OneDrive folder if I come into OneDrive at the IT training surgery there's that email attachment folder and here are the pictures and there is that presentation so there we have how to save things to our OneDrive and how to send attachments via email when you're working in Outlook online on the web. So thanks for watching this tip in the Power Tips 365 series all about inserting attachments into an email when working in Outlook on the web. I hope you found it useful. Remember, you can call us on 0208 203 1774 or visit our website to find out more about how our organization can help you with the learning needs of your organization.